Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And no, I have not been crying for two years straight. I'm just sick. Yay! But anyways, today, you know, I made myself forget out of the bed because I was feeling a little down. I was feeling a little sad and I felt like this would be the perfect time to talk about kind of a touchy subject. And that being depression. Me, I personally know about depression. I've been through it myself for many many reasons and i just thought it would be tangible i feel like i'm using that word wrong correct me if i am but i felt like it would be tangible to make a video i'm sure there are bunches of videos out there talking about depression but this is just from my personal outlook and my personal perspective first and foremost before i get into the different types of signs of depression and things like that i think i should tell my story in a brief man. So as a kid, I dealt with a lot of death, basically. The guy that I saw as a father figure in my life, he died in 2007 from gun violence. And my mother died in 2008 from pneumonia. And then my brother died. He was 16 at the time. He died in 2012. So that really, it took a toll on me. Like, But it didn't really hit me till I was about 12 years old. And since, like, I think it was because of my brain development. Uh, I don't know. Like, everything, it just wallowed onto me and just hit me in a different way, I guess you could say. Because after I was 12, 12 years old, I really started, like, thinking about these things. I didn't think about, like, I thought about it when it happened, but I didn't think about it too much afterwards. You know, I would cry from time to time, but it's not something that was consistently on my mind like you would think it would be. So, I don't know. Like, basically, after I was 12, that's when everything kind of went to crap, and I started following, following, I started falling into this depressive state, and it almost felt like I couldn't get out of it, and it just, and I never, I didn't even realize that I was depressed till I was about 15, 16. I didn't realize that so that had been going on for a few years but that when I was 15 and 16 that's when it was at my worst like it was horrible and um yeah so like there would be days when I literally would sleep the whole entire day or I would cry I would cry so often like I would cry every day so much like just cry and cry and cry or I would sit out on the balcony and write in my journal and stuff and I just look back at my entries and they were all sad entries they were sad and I don't know like I was just a very I don't really it's hard to put things like this in words because it's I don't know like I had to tell myself like it's time that uh, you know I tell my story and I tell the world about what I've been going through and maybe there's other people out there who are going through the same thing you know I don't know um no I'm not the best speaker on camera even though like I love you too yeah 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 like I don't know because it's like I don't know how to put things in words it's easier when I'm talking to people because I don't feel the pressure of everybody watching me but um it's just like that's what happened and a couple months ago I had returned to a depressed state because I was sleeping all day and I didn't realize it a lot of times when I go back to my depressive state I don't realize it but now I'm more conscious because I make myself get up and I make myself do things that I normally would enjoy even if I don't enjoy them at that moment because it helps me to like just have some feel like I'm worth something feel like I have a purpose but some people go through depression and they don't show signs like me or some other people do like people with depression deal with it in different ways you know some people and and I also I dealt with I think I dealt with depression in two different ways like out in public I would be okay like when I tell you I would have the biggest smile on my face to this day I still do that I laugh so much ask anybody who knows me I'm always laughing I'm always smiling I'm just a light-hearted soul that's just my personality is who I am but when I go home it would be a whole different story and I would start thinking about things and I felt alone and it was this and that like it was just crazy because it's like I felt like I was split down the middle like I was two different people you know and some people are like that some people act a certain way out in public but really when they get home their life is in shambles you know and it's just like crazy like how somebody can act like that and you will literally never know what they're going through so basically if you see somebody like you know 
think about things before you do things because you honestly never know what anybody's going through and people can be depressed for multiple reasons like something you may find petty it's not petty to them because of past circumstances, because something that has happened to them before. Nobody knows everybody's life story, you know. You can walk down, you don't know, you know. So people go through things. And uh, when I think about my story, like, it's... I used to, when I thought about my story and, like, all the deaths that happened to me and the effects of it and having to move with my aunts from house to house and things like that, like, it used to make me cry so easily. But now it's like... I feel like I can't even cry anymore and because I have not cried for a long time over that like for a long time and you know I would ask myself I'm like what's wrong with me you know why am I not crying over this when I should be like I should still be grieving even though it's been almost a decade since my mother passed I should still be grieving I should cry every chance that I need to you know and it's like I physically feel like I cannot cry and I don't know why so that's something I've been dealing with lately because it's like I want to get it out. You know, even if I cry on camera, hell, I'll cry on camera. I don't care because I want to give authenticity. I want to show y'all the real me. I want people who are going through depression and things like me to know that there's someone out there who understands, you know, to not feel alone like I did at times when I was going through what I was going through with my situation. Here are a few tips that I would give for people who are going through depression. These are just a few quick tips. I'm not saying it will apply to everybody because everybody deals with things differently, but this is just what helped me and what may be able to help you. So my first step would be to, um, you know, force yourself to do things you normally would enjoy or force, force yourself to go outside. For me, that works. Like, especially if it's sunny outside, I could be dumb sad. Like, I could be like, Oh my gosh, oh, I don't want to live anymore sad. Like, and I'm not even on no joke and stuff. I could be like that. If I go outside, that just makes me feel better. Like, I'm, in a way, I'm kind of connected to the world. Like, not even trying to be on no head-ass stuff. Like, I am. So, like, when the sun comes out, if I literally, especially if it's warm outside, like in the summer or spring, if I literally go outside and just sit out there, it would literally height my mood, like, 40, mm, excuse me, 40% more. And I would feel like, that much better and then you know i could do other things to make me feel even more better but like sun like i don't know i think there's some i think i see something online where it's like something with endorphins or something like that that literally it makes me feel so good and it like makes me feel warm and it just makes me feel happy like it makes me feel alive so i would suggest like if you are feeling down even if you don't want to go outside even if you are feeling like complete shit, go outside lay in the sun Lay in the sun. If you don't even gotta lay in the sun, just go outside and stay out there for ten minutes max. If you just feel like you just cannot take it, stay out there for ten minutes. And I guarantee you, you probably are gonna feel. Tip number two: surround yourself with those that love and care for you. I was gonna say family, but everyone does not have family, unfortunately. Everyone does not have what people would think would be the typical family. Everyone does not have that. Surround yourself with what you would call your own personal family because family doesn't always have to be biologically related to you. Surround yourself with people who love you. Surround yourself with people who care for you. And if you do not, if you feel, if you genuinely feel you do not have people who love you and care for you, you need to find somebody who does because at the end of the day, there is somebody out there that will love you, that will care for you. You know, the whole world is not bad. The whole world's not bad. The world is kind of messed up, but it's not bad. And I don't want to say go out and find some people that you can be friends with and blah, 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 because obviously if you're depressed, you're not going to want to do that. But if you do have the willpower, if you do think you have the willpower, go out and meet some new friends. You know, go to a game or something. Do something like that, because I guarantee you, and even if you're shy, like, just do little things that will get people's attention. You know, be like, you know, say hey, smile at somebody, do something like that, you know, because it's just, it's just very important to, like, socialize and to have people that care about you when it comes to things like this so you don't feel like you're going through things alone. And lastly, you should have an outlet. For me, my outlet is music and writing. I make music, you know, I'm a rapper. Sometimes I like to sing from time to time. But yeah, I make music and I write in my journal because... You know, getting it out is like the first step to making yourself feel better. Because if you hold that stuff and you let it build up, the outcome is never going to be good. I promise you, the outcome will never be good. And the outcome can come out in so many different ways. Whether that's sadness, whether that's suicide, whether that's violence, whether that's 
it's just so many different outcomes that you can have and that's the last thing that you need because you are worth it boo boo i don't care what nobody say you are worth it i think you worth it but it don't matter what it don't even matter what i think you don't need my validation you don't need nobody's validation you need your validation you need to you know love yourself enough respect yourself enough to be like you know what I'm just going to get up and I'm just going to try to do this thing. I'm going to do the damn thing, even if it's hard. Even if it's hard, you know, just try. A, A plus for, for effort, you know, if you do it. And, it. and even if after you do all these things and you still feel bad, it's going to mean the world. It's going to make the world to know that at least you tried. Now, I'm no expert, but those were just a little bit of my tips, and I hope that helped any of you watching this, you know, anyone who needs it, anybody who's feeling alone, anybody who's feeling depressed, anybody who's just even feeling just sad. I just, I really hope that it helped, you know, because I want to, I want to change the world one day type stuff. So, yeah.